Hey YouTube, TTG Tonyo here again with another story time. How you doing today? Let me know in the comments. For today's story time, we gonna talk about, <laughs> based on my votes on my poll, we gonna talk about how I finessed the weed man twice. Now, these were two different people. These were not the same people. This video may be a little long. I'm gonna try to make it short and go through the stories, the two stories in one video. But if not, I'll make a part two. Um, because I enjoy making these story times. I enjoy making y'all laugh. I'm glad that y'all like my content. Um, so let's get into the first one. The first story time happened, or the first situation really happened about maybe two years ago. It was, yeah, about 2021. It was a guy that lived um, on Abel. And Abel is like up the street from me, right? And you know, that's a hot spot. That's an area, you know, in the hood, if you feel where I'm from. It's a store that's on that street that usually everybody be chilling at, right? So I ended up seeing a dude, you know, he lived around the area. We was cool people, right? Now, this may seem like it's wrong because I finessed him, but it's a principle behind this, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to weed, bro. I'm going to just be real. I'm a smoker, as you can see. <laughs> um, so I hit him up, right? And I was like, hey, man, I'm trying to cop. So he said, bet, pull up. I'm at the store on Abel. I'm like, all right, bet. So we went up to the store on Abel. I'm not going to say his real name because, you know, I'm not. We go just call him Rodney. We gonna call him Rodney. And Rodney hit me up and was like, bro, I got that Zot today. I'm like, oh, okay. He like, what you got? He like, man, I got that Sour Patch. I'm like, oh, you got that Sour Patch Kids? So he's like, yeah, bro, I got that Sour Patch Kids, bro, exotic only. I'm like, all right, bad, bro, you don't know. You already know I'm about to slide, bro. So I walk up to the stove. And I see him outside and he chilling his whip. All my other homies, you know, I'm cool on the block. All my homies, man. Shout out V-Man. Shout out my boy Shotty. Shout out my boy Bishop. You already know they're my homies, man. Yo, now, I'm going to say their names. Them my gods. You already know. Shout out to the gods. But basically, Rodney was hanging with them. So, you know, I'm thinking he cool with people, you know, he got Zy like them. So, I was like, all right, bro, what's up? He like, yeah, I got that side patch. I looked at it, I'm like, hmm, you know, it looked like it was some decent weed, you know. It smelled decent. You know, me, I'm the type of person, I got to inspect my weed before I smoke it, you know. You got to do that if you a smoker, you know, because people be trying to lace nowadays. You got to be very careful. People be trying to put fitting all in your weed. People be trying to put anything inside your weed. Be very careful, especially when you buy street weed on top of that. But, but um, basically, I was like, all right, bro, let me cop. So he gave me, and he blessed, though. It was for the five. It was for going for the five. And um, I was like, all right, bro, I got you. So I'm getting excited, bro. I just got finished, you know, going to work. I work. I be working at a bakery, bro. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a baker. I be up there cleaning and doing bakery things, you know, breaking with pastries. <laughs> I'm over there. I do like the Michelin Man or something. Or I do that be on the toaster stools. But anyway, bro, I'm thinking I'm about to be geek. I come back. I'm like, what kind of shell I want? I go to the other stove. Because I ain't going to fake at the stove. Man, my homies be at, it's cool and all, but they be trying to tax, bro, to even use your car, bro. Like, they be trying to add 50 cent and all that extra. I wasn't trying to deal with all that. So I went to the other stuff that was also on a bill, but that's going to pop on the other stuff. You feel me? Ain't nobody really out there for real. So I went to the other stuff, and I was like, man, let me get back of them OG fuses. You know? I think I'm about to get turned. So. I come back to the crib, I roll up, and I'm smoking it. I'm smoking it, right? And I'm thinking, oh, this about to be having me on La La Land. He talking about some Sour Patch. Bro, 
it was like a good 15, 20, 30 minutes. I ain't feel nothing, bro. I was sorry, bro. Like, you don't know how mad I was even for the blunt for the five, bro. Like, that's still my bread, bro. You gotta be out of exotic. If you're not gonna have exotic, you shouldn't be selling. Like, come on, man. Can't be going out like that. So, anyway, after that, I was like, oh, no, oh, no. So, after that, I, the $5, I usually, I never pay in cash. That's another thing, too, if you were smoking. Never pay in cash, bro. Always keep that money digital. So, if the weed man trying to finesse you like how this one did today and the other one, you know, you ain't got to deal with that, bro. You got to be smart with it. So, anyway, I was like, oh, no, he ain't getting this far. Boom. Finesse, bro. I been dancing that, bro. I just smoked it up, bro, even though it was booth. Sorry, bro. Anyway, I went back to sleep. Next day, you know, I went back to the stove. He went up there, so I'm thinking I'm in the clear. It's a couple days later, weeks later, weeks later. Still ain't seen him. Then I ran into him again. I don't know if he had amnesia, but he didn't remember, right? And I was just like, dang. He sent me again, and he just dabbed me up like normal. I was like, oh, well. Free weed for me, then, I guess. <laughs> and I, that's how I finessed the weed man the first time, right? That's for the first little story. Um, so, yeah, you know, you could get away with finessing the weed man sometimes, but don't be going around doing that, man. Pay them folks their money. <laughs> Even if it's boo. I know you may be mad, bro. Pay them the folks their money. Just not me, though. I ain't paying them. <laughs> I'm not paying them. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. I'm never doing that. If it's boo, bro, you're not getting it from me. The other folks can pay you, though. But let's get to the next story. The next story. Happened a little bit more recent. It happened last year. And it was with a guy. I ain't gonna say his real name either. We gonna call him um, Donnie. We gonna call that boy Donnie. And Donnie, right? It was <coughs> it was 420 of last year. <coughs> you know, that's the national <coughs> that's the national weed holiday for the folks that don't know. So you know that's the day you really wanna be. You know, out your rockers, you know, you want to be chilling, you want to be vibing that day, you want to be time, kind of like 4th of July, no way. like for me, anyway. And he was like, bro, I got that real as I, just like the last dude, bro, and I fell for it, like, he be blowing me, but like I said, I finesse me too, but I ain't gonna fake the second time, like I said, it was very, very, I had some deadly encounters the second time with him. <laughs> But we gonna get to that later in the video. Um. Anyway, he hit me up, bro, and I was like, "Man, it's for a twenty, man. You got any special deals?" He like, "No, I ain't got no deals, but I got that za." I'm like, oh, "Okay." I'm like, "I really be liking deals, though." You feel me? Like my other weed man, shout out B man, he be blessing, bro. That's my homie, man. But all them other dudes, bro, they don't be trying to bless, bro. They be trying to like always want you to pay extra for booth. What? Anyway, bro, I went up there for 420, right? He like, man, I got that za. And he said he had purple haze. It was purple. Bro, I looked at it. I smelled it. I'm like, hmm, it smelled a little off, though, because it didn't really have no smell, right? But it had, the, like, color to it. And I was like, how much you want for it? He was like, hmm, I really would do 30, but, you know, it's the holidays, you know. It's, I'm down bad. I'm like, come on, bro. You trying? You can't bless or nothing. He's like, nah, bro. I ain't got no deals. So he talking about 40. I'm like, 40? I'm like, 40 for what, bro? He's like, 40 for an eighth. I'm like, uh, that's looking kind of tight. You feel me? So at first I'm debating. I'm debating. I don't know if I want to do it for real. Because I'm like, usually for me, I be doing like 25, 30, you know? That's the average price. That's how much it really should be. But he, like, is exotic. But I ain't really smell no smell. But I'm like, man, let me look out for the homie, man, one time. And boom, sent it to him. This time I sent it to him. But look, I finessed him the second time. We're going to get to that, though. But look, I sent it to him. I smoked it. Just like the last dude. Boof, straight boof. I ain't feel nothing. It was like a whole two, three hours later. Nothing. I was mad, bro. I was blowing up his phone and everything. Like, bro, you really overcharged me for this? And he was acting like he didn't see me or whatever, right? Like, he was just ignoring my messages. You know how people, sometimes, 
they leave you on read, and then sometimes they just leave you on deliver, you know? So he, that's what he did, basically. He out like he didn't see my stuff. Then, it was like a couple weeks later, I went to the stove like usual, seeked them again, and he was like, man, you need some bag? I'm like, oh yeah, all right, yeah, I need some bag. So, you know, when he did what he did, Donnie did what he did, he gave me the um, grab this time. This time I was getting on the 10. And when I got the 10, um, this time I'm like, I still remember last time he gave me that booth, you feel me? So I'm like, I ain't about to know. Like, that was the last time I ain't gonna fake. That was the last time I was ever gonna tell her something like that. Like, no, bro, if you really gonna be doing service, bro, you don't need to be in the streets doing it. Stay out the streets. Don't be selling no booth, man. If you're going to be doing it, be a big baller about it, man. Don't be selling that. What? Like, you know? And then you overcharge. What? Anyway, bro. This time, I got the 10. I don't know if this is different strand because this strand was green, right? When I smoked this, this was quality. I ain't going to hold you. I don't know if it was because he got a different server or what. Different connect. What? Well, he need to call him again, but ain't no again because I finessed him. <laughs> Ah, uh, but anyway, um, he, he, I smoked that, and then when I smoked that, like I said, I was still mad about last time, and usually the eighth is already about 25, 30, so I'm like, hmm, I'm not about to deal with this again, and that's the, took that 10 and kept it for myself, read up again, stop playing with me, then, after that, a couple days later, a couple days later, I see it for a minute, and then after that, um, my homie B Man, right? He informed me. Oh, um, <laughs> I had to say it like that. He's like, so and so, so and so. I heard somebody trying to, you know, do something, do something. All right, what you mean? He's like, yeah, he talking about somebody said they was going to do what they was going to do to you again. I'm like, what you mean do to me again? He's like, bro, he said that he know that you tried to finesse him. I'm like, what you mean trying to finesse him? I act like I was just anonymous to anything he was talking about because anything, I didn't know that any of the people that he knew was cool, you know what I'm saying, in the area, so I'm not about to be acting like I know what he's talking about then they get on me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be smart, so I'm acting like I don't know. Did that, I was just like, but thanks for, you know, giving me the ups. Then, about a week or two later, bro, I see the green whip, boom, 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 boom. Bro, I go inside the stove. I see Donnie, bro. And he like, hey, man, where's my 10? I was like, oh, bro, dang, man. Ooh, I don't even know. I ain't even get paid yet, bro. You gonna have to wait a minute. He's like, all right, bro, yeah. I still ain't forget about that, man. I ain't playing. He told me, like, bro, if I... <laughs> it was funny, because I still got you. What's up, playing? He was like, nah, bro. Um, if I ain't got my money, bro, in about a week, bro, we gonna have some problems, man. I'm gonna find you. And I was like, all right, man, I got you. I got you, bro. Just chill, just chill. So after that, you know, still ain't paying them nothing. Because like I said, you ain't going to sell me no overcharged booth. That's just like against the principle, especially like, no. And then after that, um, he was making it a point to keep trying to come up to the stove every time I would be at the stove. So every time I would be doing it and I would go up to the stove, he would keep asking, like, man, you got my 10, got my 10, got my 10, got my 10. And I keep telling him, no, man, I ain't got it yet. My money to land or I just make up a minute excuse. Then I'm guessing, I don't remember what that is was, but I'm guessing eventually he got tired of it. And, bro, next time he was in his green whip, he was yelling at me, bro. Talk about some, hey, 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 bro. He, I could have swore I heard the car skirting behind me like he was trying to chase me in the whip, bro. I dug, bro. I was going down the street on foot because my house ain't even far from the place, bro. I was on foot. I was gone. I act like I ain't hear him. I was gone. And then basically after that, once I went inside the crib, I ain't see nobody knock on the door or nothing. So I don't know what he did after that, but. Ever since, I ain't seen them back up at the stove. <laughs> and I still ain't seen them back 10. Like, no, bruh. Principal, man, look. If you smoke weed, bro, make sure you get your money's worth, bro. That's what it's about, man. You deserve better. I deserve better. We all deserve better. So when it's time to relax, you want to get the max relaxation. Don't have no God play you like that, man. Y'all need to get played like that. I'm trying to save y'all out here, man. And 
That's all we're gonna have for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed these two story times. And like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace.